Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of BTD6. Uh, let's continue with the achievements and uh, now I'm gonna show you this very peculiar achievement called uh, a crate time where you need to open a diamond crate in any collection event. Now the diamond crate is the very last milestone um, and you can see that I just need 15 more items and I'm gonna be uh, able to open the diamond crate that is gonna give me a tar 5 insta monkey um, and it's gonna be interesting because there is a super monkey here so maybe I'm gonna be able to get a temple uh, out of the insta monkey so I'm pretty pretty excited and now the fastest way to actually uh, reach this amount is just by playing on the advance or uh, the expert map better is uh, the expert maps and play on the maps that have bonus rewards because uh, then it's gonna that is gonna give you a lot of uh, items especially if you play on impopable or chimps I recommend you to play on impopable because you can use monkey knowledge you can use continues you can use powers so you can be more relaxed even if you lose you can keep on going instead of on chimps of course uh, you need to be a little more careful um, and yeah just because of the fact that I need uh, uh, 15 more I'm gonna just play here on uh, in the loop that is the um, is the beginner map with the bonus rewards and uh, I just gonna play on standard so standard hard it's gonna give me 16 of the of these um, items and uh, that's gonna be enough to open the diamond crate so I don't wanna really make this gameplay too long of course so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna just uh, play on a beginner map just 80 rounds and I'm gonna go with the Zilli because it's the hero that I've used uh, the least um, it's a very nice hero because you have camera detention you have lead popping power um, damage over time a very strong level 10 ability but the problem is that uh, most of our levels or uh, most of our abilities are not gonna be that useful and other heroes are so much stronger that uh, at the end of the day she's gonna lose a little bit the um, the utility so um, yeah for that reason she's not really one of the top heroes but uh, I'm gonna use it the same because uh, uh, why not it's just hard and I'm also going with monkey knowledge I didn't show you but I have monkey knowledge activated you can see here by the fact that I have the martial lives I have the prospects at the end I started with more cash uh, I had the freedom monkey so these are all things that you get when you have monkey knowledge on um, and so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with a very simple strategy with a Zilli with a sub. Um, and this is gonna be a 402 sub. I'm gonna try to get it a 502 uh, so that I can, like, maybe level up the Zilli a little faster and I can get a level 20 before on 80. But I don't know if that's gonna be possible. I'm gonna also try to show you here all the tricks that I know with the farms uh, especially if you're using monkey knowledge because uh, it's very very interesting the fact that now with banks you can use your in-game cash you can deposit it inside the bank and so you can make the bank gain more interest um, and, uh, and yeah you can make the bank get full uh, with cash much much faster so uh, yeah, it's very very nice and uh, you can like make a bank completely full in just three rounds here let's just get this sub 001 don't want to really risk uh, losing but this is just hard and I'm using monkey knowledge so it should be very very easy um, so you can see I got a uh, farm down and just just upgrading the farm and Zilli has come with detention so I uh, don't have to worry about round 24 she has also had less uh, lead popping power so that's another round I don't need to worry about and so I think I'm gonna just simply get uh, here this up uh, 
Um, yeah. Zero, zero, two, maybe. It's just enough for now. Uh, and then I can get the bank. So I'm gonna try, as I said before, I'm gonna try to um, level up auxiliary level 20. So the fastest way to do it is actually get an energizer because that is going to make her gain a lot more of experience already. Um, plus, of course, getting a lot of cash from the banks and spending the cash to level her up. Uh, so that's going to be my goal. So let's see if I'm going to be able to do it in uh, 80 rounds. Right, getting here the bank as fast as possible. There we go, nice in the round. And you can see here the deposit button. Right, so right before the end of the round, I'm gonna deposit. And that is gonna make the bank uh, get a lot more interest a lot faster. And uh, that can really cut short like three or four rounds. You can just make them disappear because. Uh, uh, especially at the beginning, when the bank has uh, not a lot of cash inside, that's when it's very slow at uh, getting more cash. But if you can cut short that amount, because you're simply gonna um, you're simply gonna give the bank cash at the beginning when it's the slowest, that's when it becomes very very helpful. Uh, and yeah, you can see just depositing about 1,000 cash at the beginning is enough to now the bank is already like 4.1 thousand inside. All right, so I don't need to rush maybe too much because then there is round 40 coming, um, and I don't want to really screw that up. Should have the bank full um, soon. And I want to get an energizer here, so that's why I'm not getting triple guns because I'm gonna go with the top path. Um, okay, so let's just deposit here a little bit more of cash so that at the end of this round the bank is already full. This should give me the ability to collect, deposit once again. And uh, uh, let's see, for round 40, uh, can I just get an engineer here? Um, two, three, zero. And uh, a, a ninja with a stun. That should work. So, how to get the maximum profit from the banks? You just deposit at the very, very beginning, and then when the bank has 7,000 inside, you deposit again. And that makes the banks uh, to be full in just three rounds. And you can then collect 9.5 thousand again. So, you spend, you deposit inside the bank 5,000 cash and you get 9.5 thousand so that's 4.5 thousand of profit every three rounds um, and that's just a very very good so uh, yeah, let's go with the energizer um, and uh, now submerge All right and I think that should be enough now this done with the zilly with the this up so I definitely want to go with the village here uh, maybe not camo detection needed because she also can remove camo from the balloons if I remember correctly I'm gonna just place a village here 200 just increasing the tax speed the ninja also has camo detection already so um, oh I forgot one round I didn't put the cash inside the bank, so uh, yeah, that was my bad. 
pause it. Actually here I think uh, I was 300 short, so I'm gonna deposit an extra 300. There you go. Alright, so now two banks. I'm doing the same with both of them. So at the end of this round I'm gonna place, I'm gonna deposit 1.2 thousand each. And then I'm gonna have them full at the end of the other round. So here my goal is trying to get Azilia level 20 before round 80. Uh, so that's the main priority. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to do it. Um, so collect. Deposit, deposit. Uh, can I use this village though to just place farms in range and have them discounted? Seems a pretty good idea. Deposit, all right, good. So first deposit and then getting here the uh, bank two three zero. Okay, good. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to deposit then one point two thousand for each farm at the end of this round. Uh, but uh, even if that may not be the case, I think. Round 49 is pretty long, it's, it's gonna give me a lot of cash, so um, actually, yeah, I'm gonna be able to, yeah, so nothing to worry about, nice. So you can see that I'm other than the sub, I'm just building towers and upgrades I normally don't use, uh, and that is because uh, I'm really enjoying trying to, you know, find the uh, other towers, other strategies, other than the most used ones, to you know, make them work. Because a lot of towers, a lot of upgrades, are not used because they are just not famous. But uh, that doesn't mean that they are weak or that they are useless. So um, I'm trying to find uh, new ways, new strategies. Uh, no wait, no, it's just out of range. Unfortunately. Um, now here, can I get one here and then another one? No, I don't think so. So let's just place one more. I already deposited inside the other banks, so I just need to deposit in this one. And uh, um, yeah, I really, really want to get five here. So let's try to risk. I just deposited 2.2 thousand this last one so it's pretty far off the the amount that I should need 2.2 so that should be 2. Point, uh, okay something like that I'm not gonna be able to deposit in this round but uh, that is gonna just delay one round the banks being full so I don't think that's gonna be too terrible so instead of having the banks full uh, at the end of this round they're gonna be full at the end of the next round so uh, yeah, it's just one round of delay if you don't put the other 1.2 thousand inside the banks um, just gonna you're just gonna need to wait one more round but that's pretty much it I just wanted to place the fifth bank because in this way I can now start collecting a lot more cash um, so uh, let's get here this one and let's get this one All right this will work and let's also get the blue trap can I place nice yes I can Okay, the, now with the Monkey City, uh, Bloom Traps are giving me more cash and also the banks should become full a little faster. Not that it's gonna be that important because I'm gonna anyway need to deposit the cash to make them be full one round earlier, so I'm gonna need to do it the same. So deposit. It's just uh, less cash than I need to deposit, you can see, but it's just about like 40 less cash 
is, there isn't much difference. Also can here a sticker bomb just to make uh, my classrooms explode a little faster. Right, collect, deposit in all five. I'm gonna place here the sixth um, the sixth bank inside the range of this village. And uh, can I place a seventh here? I think I should be able to. Yeah. Okay. That's, I think, uh, the amount of farms I'm gonna go. If I spend any more cash on more farms, I may end up not having enough to get the, uh, the sub 502 and then a zero level 20. So I'm gonna try to minimize now the, the amount of cash I spent. Uh, the damage is there. You can see no trouble. Uh, or not too much trouble. Deposit in all seven. This is just uh, to save one round so that I can empty the banks one round earlier. And now, because of the fact that this is round 59, I should be able to empty the banks again at the end of round 62. And that's going to be very important because that's going to give me the edge for round 63. So let's just deposit once again. Should be able to get the uh, the sub 502 now. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, so now Azili should start leveling up a little faster. And then for round 63, um, is this enough? Is defenses or or not? I don't know. Yeah, because here the ceramics are gonna be in range of this energizer for a very long time, so I don't see how how around sixty three is gonna be problematic. I mean, if anything, I'm going to have uh, the cash to, to play something else. And I can even use the totems, true, because totems uh, cost lives and uh, this is hard, so I have 100 lives. But let's try to do it without using the totem. I'm pretty curious to see if I have enough, like, uh, damage to survive just like this. If I level up a Zilli, a couple of levels here using the cash, why not? Now let's see here. First ceramic rush, stun. Oh wow, that was super easy. The the engineer here with the trap just completely destroyed those ceramics. And also the stun from this uh, ninja. Wow, okay. I didn't expect it to be that easy though. Uh, well, that's it then. Uh, yeah, let's use here Zilla level 10 just to clear up these uh, 45 mobs a little faster. The damage against the mobs is not very high from my towers, as you can tell. Uh, so, up to ceramics, you know, I do some pretty good damage, but against of class bronze is not that clear. So I wanna level up a Zilli now. Uh, as as I get the cash from the banks, I'm gonna just use it to level her up just uh, faster. Let's use level 10. This fifth piece. And also true that with the energizer, I have 20% uh, less cooldown. So everything is gonna recharge faster. Well, that, uh, that's also pretty nice. That's a thing that I forgot. So deposit. Alright, here we go. Then just leveling up a Zilli. Level 15. Nice. Uh, I don't really fear the, um, these rounds just because of the fact that I can use her level uh, level 10 against mobs. So my glass balloons, if they're ever problematic, I just can use her level 10 and then that's it. 
so for example around 71 um, 75 77 I can use a level um, level 10 and that should solve everything um, okay because the, the trap here is quite expensive and also the master bomber is quite expensive those two upgrades make the you can start trapping like mob class balloons with the traps with this upgrade and also you can start doing a lot more damage to mob class balloons with the master bomber but I uh, just wanna double up Azili as fast as possible so okay let's go level 17 yeah, I'm in round 69, so I should, I should be in time. I should be able to level her up level 20. And then maybe having some extra cash to maybe get, I don't know, the, the massive bomber. remember exactly each one of her levels but I remember like her level 19 and the level 20 are very very strong especially level 20 you can destroy a BAD with a level 10 ability like it's insane and also her level 10 ability makes the affected balloons spawn no children so if you'd like destroy a B BFB with it you have you're gonna have no mobs to deal with Um, all right, so that's one more time. Level 19, all right, just one more. Round 72. So yeah, let's use it now. And let's see see that the BFP just disappears and there are no mobs. Uh, and uh, when the balloons are destroyed, uh, the curse, if it's still active, it's gonna automatically jump to the closest, uh, strongest balloons. So, uh, you can definitely not waste it. So, let's use it uh, once again here with this fifth piece. Why not? Uh, and yeah, let's just start going a little faster here. I'm not gonna deposit the extra 1200 cash. Um, so I'm gonna wait one more round, but uh, this is gonna make the the gameplay a little faster. I'm gonna then just collect. Uh, I'm gonna probably sell all the banks. That should be enough to get a zero level. The trick can just get level 20 right now. So I'm gonna do it. Um, and then I could also like get uh, the master bumper, as I said before. Or the yeah, master bomber, most likely. The trap seems a little too expensive. So level 10 here, right? There are double stack BFPs there, but with level 10 it should be very easy to deal with. And, um, and yeah, that's it. So collect, sell. Oh, actually, a ton of cash I have, so... Um, yeah, let's get the... Let's get both of them, actually. <laughs> I can get both of them. Well, that's the best, then. So, that's a Zilli level 20. With uh, uh, an XSL trap, Master Bomber, and uh, an Energizer. All got before on 80, you could see, using the very, the very, very useful... Uh, deposit thing with the banks just you can earn so much more cash it's insane uh, and yeah you can really boost that amount you can see here the master bomber applying the bomb as the map glass balloons enter inside the screen that's the very very big trap uh, and I could even get I don't know here an alchemist just buffing these towers. I don't know if the alchemist buff makes uh, the damage over time from Azili any stronger. I think it doesn't, but. Okay, here, the engineer. 
I mean, the, the sub should uh, remove the camo from the from that second uh, ceramic rush. So her level 10, I could see that it disappeared. So if there are no other map plasmas in the screen, it just disappears. So the game is lagging a little bit sometimes. It may be because of the massive bumper, I don't know. It's pretty weird. And then for the zone my god, I'm gonna very simply use her level 10. There we go. And that should be it. So um, that's enough items. That should be the diamond crate. I hope that you guys enjoyed the different you know, gameplay. And here we go. So let's get the super monkey. Let's see if I get a temple. And uh, oh no, tar 5 upgrade. Or oh, just a tar 4. Oh, that's too sad though. I really thought I would get a, a tar 5 insta. Oh well, whatever. And you can see that you can keep on getting and opening more diamond crates if you can once again if you get the enough items so that should make this uh, achievement unlocked here we go so that's another tower 4 insta and that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed and see you bye bye